In a few seconds, these celebrity panelists will try to uncover some highly unusual secrets. So if you want to guess along with the panel, cover your ears and close your eyes. Here comes our first secret now. Hi, I'm Emily Taylor from Kentucky, and I fit horses from metal shoes. Get ready for an all-out feeding frenzy, because it's time for Figure It Out Wild Style. Our celebrity panel job, figure out why our contestants are here. The cash is, they can only ask yes or no questions. And here's our panel now. He's the king of the jungle from the WCW, Hacksaw Jim Duggan. He's a wolf in sheep's clothing from all that, Mark Saul. He's totally nocturnal from Are You Afraid of the Dark, Kareem Blackwell. He loves peanut butter and seaweed sandwiches from Aaron Strange, Shane Sweet. Let's watch they try to figure it out wild style. And here's your host, Summer Sanders. Thank you very much and welcome to Figure It Out Wild Style. That dog pound was going crazy. Can I hear that again, please? <laughs> style where we've given our contestants an extra helping of oats and kibble. I guess because that's so wild, they're hungry, maybe. All right, panelists and everybody else, please say hello to our first contestant. She's sitting right here. Put your hands together. Emily Taylor. <laughs> panelists, please say hello to Emily. Emily, Hi, Emily. panelists. Hi, now everybody's friends, and we'd like to shout out a big uh, welcome to Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Oh, yeah. Hello, Summer. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Loving that hairstyle today. It's looking good, yeah. I just woke up and rushed right down here. <laughs> All right, right over here is the most important part of the show. I'd like everybody to say hello to Billy the Answer Head, animal friend, and Mark, who is this? That's Billy the Answer Goat. Right on. Right over here is what you have to figure out. Right now it says blank, blank, four, blank, blank. And Kareem, I was going to let you do that, but I just did it. I felt like I wanted to. Now, if you say one of the words on Billy the Answer Goat, you'll hear this sound. <laughs> and we'll turn it over for you. And you can do that too, Mark. That'd be cool too if you did that. All right, so it's pretty easy. There are three rounds. If you stump them through all three rounds, which I think you just might do. Do you know what you're taking home? The grand prize. The grand prize. Jay, what's the grand prize? A trip to Florida, the Edgewater Beach Resort on one half bottle. Sugar White Beach, you'll enjoy a children's arcade and activity program, a giant lagoon boon, and fun water sports for all ages. All right, Emily, so you like to sit on the beach, mm -hmm. hang out in the sand, mm -hmm. in the water? Mm -hmm. You're a swimmer? Yeah. I like swimmers, you know. I used to be a swimmer. <laughs> All right, okay, here are the rules of the game. Yes or no questions only from you snakeheads over there. If you can't think of a yes or no question, you just uh, say pass. We'll move on to the next panelist. No need to stress about it. If you get confused by their questions, I don't think you will. But if you do, you talk to me, I'll talk to the judges, we'll come up with an answer. Does it sound good? Mm -hmm. All right, remember, panelists, the clues and the charade brigade and some wild and woolly surprises will be coming in and out throughout each round to help you out. That's their only reason for being on the show is helping you guys out. So use them. Hacksaw Jim. We're starting with you. I love to say that name. Hacksaw Jim. Thank All you right. very much, Summer. One minute on the clock. Ready? Go. Emily, did you win a contest? No. Mark. Are you the champion of something? No. Kareem. Did you, did you make something? No. My snake tells me it's some kind of talent. Is this true? Mm -hmm. um, does it involve animals? Mm -hmm. Are they furry? Mm -hmm. Is it a dog? No. Hexa. Does the animal have hooves? Mm -hmm. Is it a farm animal? Here comes your first clue, you guys. Hexa, Check them out. Hacksaw, yes or no question? I think I wrestled that guy before. <laughs> Emily, uh, does it have a tail? Mm -hmm. um, is it a farm animal? Mm -hmm. Is it a cow? Mm -mm. <laughs> I like think, cows. I think, think about your clue, you guys. Mark. All right, get it. Play the guitar. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Hold that thought. 
That sound, of course, means the end of round number one. And it also means that Emily has stumped them. You feeling, you feeling good? Mm -hmm. You want to hear your prize? Mm -hmm. Of course she does. Jay, what's your first prize? First up in the panel for round one, Emily will take home a Veriflex skate package. Enjoy your recreational time at Veriflex toughest and safest inline skating combination with the latest of Veriflex skating equipment. Please always remember to wear your safety gear. She stumped them through one round, and they're looking pretty puzzled over there with their snakes on their face. Before we go on to round number two, we're going to give them a chance to settle over there. We're going to give a randomly selected member of our studio audience a chance to win a prize, because we love prizes. That lucky audience member is LaToya Wilmot. All right. Here's how it works. Uh, if any of our panelists performs the secret slime action, they'll get slimed. Latoya's taking home a prize, and of course we're going to love it, right? Yeah. I mean, I'm going to love it. That's what I thought. So panel, if you hear this sound, it has a nice beat to it. Yeah, get those slime helmets on. You know what? Don't even try to do it because there's enough slime in that slime spewer to cover a bunch of hippos. <laughs> I guess that's, that's, that's what I'm going for. Jake, tell us what the secret slime action is. The secret slime action is being afraid of the dark. Yeah, okay. Right over here on Billy the Answer Goat is what you figured out after one round. Basically nothing. Blank, blank, four, blank, blank. Over here on the Clue recap board, it's a talent, it's a farm animal, and it can't play the guitar. But that's a pretty cool clue, wasn't it? We like the cool clues here. All right, Kareem, we're going to start with you. One minute on the clock. Ready, go. Does it have anything to do with the horse? One of the words in the answer head. Blank horses for blank, blank. Kareem. Do you train the horses for something? No. Shane. Do you raise them? No. Race them. <laughs> Mark. Do you make the horses wear pants? No. <laughs> Kareem. under all that slime, but Kareem, would you like to know what the secret slime action was? Not really. Okay. Well, let me tell you anyways, because we were chuckling about it. We knew it was going to be you, because it's being afraid of the dark, and since oh, you're on the show, you're afraid oh, of the dark, we knew oh, it was going to be you. Let's check it out again on replay, courtesy of Slime Cam. Yeah. You weren't really afraid of it, you know? I mean, standing up and then asking for more. Because you knew we had a lot in those slime spewers, enough to, you know, cover a whole thing of hippos. It's got to be a lot, right? All right. Because Kareem got slime, that means Latoya from our studio audience is taking home a prize. Jay, what's her prize? The Figure It Out Wild Style Fisherman Hat. Wear it with jeans or loan it to your mother's kangaroo. Okay. We stopped the clock at 38 seconds, and Kareem, <laughs> believe it or not, we're on you. Oh. So if you can uh, get it together with all the slime on you and everything like that, you ready? Yeah? Yeah, okay. Ready? Go. Um. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> did you cook horses? No. No! Shane. Does Put the your blindfolds on, you guys. Check in your boxes. Here comes your second clue. Pull it out. Pull it out. Open up your boxes. Okay. Now take your blindfolds off. Shane, yes or no questions? Uh, does it have anything to do with... I don't know. Pack off. <laughs> does it have something to do with shoes? <laughs> He did that without even looking at it. Good job. Blank horses for blank shoes. You can take your blind hold, fold off if you'd like to. I kind of like that. And you should. It's a buddy. All right. That sound means the end of round number two. And it also means Emily is taking home her second prize. She's on fire. Jay, what's your second prize? Shopping is even more fun when you have Toys R Us Jeffrey Dollars. A great gift idea because they're as good as cash at any Toys R Us store. Good job, you guys. Right over here is what you figured out after two rounds. Blank horses for blank shoes. Over here on the Clue Recap board, horses don't wear pants. <laughs> Silly. I added that on the end. All right, panelists, look 
Panels look cute with their masks on. I don't know about this clear recap board. I'm a little worried about it. I'm going to have a talk with it later. All right. Round number three, Hacksaw. <laughs> I think that was actually directed towards you with the bunny and everything, because like, you wanted oh, to keep it, it on. It is a bunny. <laughs> One minute, last round. Ready? Go. Is it uh, overshoes, like boots? No. Mark. Did you train the horse to do something? No. No. Kareem. Um, did you f fit horses? What did the horse answer head? Fit horses with blank shoes. Kareem. Um, did you fit horses for running shoes? No. <laughs> no. Shane? Do you make the shoes yourself? Judges? No. Just, no? Yes? No. Tax off. You put the shoes on the horses? Yes. You use nails? Yes. <laughs> Here comes the straight brigade. Trainers. Help them out, you guys. There you go. Smiling. All right. Nail. Nail. Black hammer. Bang. Bang. Uh, Tap in. Push. Run. Okay, hacks off. Yes or no question? Um. Two seconds. Pass, pass. Okay, no more conversation, you guys. Think about all your clues, final guesses. Fits, horses, four, blank, shoes, hacksaw. Racing? Fits, horses, for racing, shoes, no. Mark. All right, I'm going to try this. Fits, horses, for tennis, shoes. No. <laughs> Kareem. Fits, horses, <laughs> for slimy shoes. <laughs> no. Nope. All right, Shane, pressure is on. All righty. Fits horses for trotting shoes. No. That means Emily's taking home the grand prize. Can I hear it for Emily, please? <laughs> All right, you guys. Emily, they really want to know what it is that you do. Fill in the blank. Fits horses for metal. metal shoes. Did you get it? Heavy metal rocker. That was the first. Thing. Oh, I know, I know. You're taking home three cool prizes. Do you want to hear them again? Mm -hmm. That's what I thought. Jay, tell her what she's taking home. Our friend Emily is taking home a Fairfax State Pack of $200 worth of Toys R Us Jeffrey Dollars and a trip to the Edgewater Beach Resort in Florida. Tool assistant Shelby out here, and of course, we just happen to have a horse in the back. So, show us how we fit a shoe. All right, so first of all, you lift up the horse's hoof, get it in position, and then what are you doing under the there? Nail. You're nailing it in, right? Yep. Here's, here's a, a, a shoe right here and a nail. How many nails does it take? Eight. Eight. Even Shelby knows that. It doesn't hurt the horse, right? No. Nope. It's, it's just like cutting a fingernail, right? After you nail it in, what do you do? Huh? You bend it over. You bend it over, and then what are you, you have a couple other steps before you're done? Mm-hmm. What are your other steps that you do? After that, I have to clip it, and then clinch it, and then rasp it, and then hammer it. And then she's done. Give her a big round of applause. This is awesome. We've got a lot of more animals, a lot more slime, and a lot more figured out wild down the way. So now it's time to cover your eyes with your antlers and your ears with your trunk and here comes the next one. Hi, I'm Mitch Medeiros, and I'm from Massachusetts, and I stand to hypnotize lobster upside down. Welcome back to Figure It Out Wild Style, and here's your host, Summer Sanders. Welcome back. Hello, everybody. I'm glad they're calling it Wild Style, because having a horse out here, that was wild, right? Yep. Yeah. OK, do you guys want to meet our next contestant? Yeah. yeah. That's what I thought you'd say, so we'll get right to it. Please put your hands together for Mitch Medeiros. Okay, 
Okay, give a big wave to our panelists. Hi, panelists. Hi, Hi Mitch. Hi, Mitch. Okay, now everybody's friends. Let's remind all the folks at home what Mitch's secret is. He stands a hypnotized lobster upside down. All right, remember, if you stump the panel through all three rounds, you're going to win a bunch of prizes along with... The grand prize. That is correct. He's pretty smart. All right, right over here is what you have to figure out about Mitch. Kareem, what does it say? Blank, blank, uh, blank, blank, blank. That was a tough one, but you yeah. got it. That's pretty good. Basically, pretty much nothing is on Billy the Answer Goat right now. So that's your job. Hacksaw, we're going to start with you. There's one minute on the clock. Ready? Go. Mitch, did you win a contest? No. <laughs> did you invent something? No. Kareem. Did you um, train an animal to do this? Judges? No. Shane. Is this a talent of some sort? Is it a talent? Yes, it is. You're a uh, cancer guy. Does it involve an animal? Yes. An animal with fur? No. Hacksaw. With scales? No. Here comes your first clue, you guys. You're getting sleepy. You're getting very <laughs> sleepy. Mark, that's how we go. <laughs> All right, this is have to do with hypnotizing. One of the words in the answer head. Blank, hypnotized, blank, blank, blank. And that was a yes. All right, now, is it with one of your pets? No. Kareem. <laughs> Pass, I'm getting sleepy. Shame. Does it involve a bird? No. That means the end of round number one, and it also means that Mitch is taking home his first prize. You stoked about that? Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's holding it in, though. Jay, what's his first prize? For stopping the panel through round one, Mitch will take out $100 worth of Blockbuster gift cards. Great for movies, music, and more. Participating Blockbuster video locations nationwide. Go to Blockbuster Video and go home happy. So, Mitch, do you like movies? Yes. Okay, that's a good answer, because you know you're, you're going to be watching lots of movies after you win that prize, huh? Yeah. All right, before we go on to round number two and give Mitch a chance to win another prize, we're going to give an audience member a chance to win a prize. That lucky audience member this time is David Diaz. <laughs> His whole family is excited about it. All right, Jay, tell us what the secret slime action is. The secret slime action is knowing what a suplex is. <laughs> Okay, right over here is what you figured out after one round. Blank, hypnotized, blank, blank, blank. Over here on the clue recap board. Blank, <laughs> blank, blank, blank. I fell for that one, huh? Yeah, that's funny. Okay, right over here. Round number two, Hacksaw, we're starting with you. One Mitch. minute on the clock. Mitch, Ready. is this Go. a domestic animal you do this with? No. Oh. Mark, is it with a sea animal? Yes. Oh, all right. Is it with a turtle? No. Kareem. <laughs> He's still sleepy. Um, did you, does it have pass? <laughs> Shame. Is it a certain type of fish? No. Is it a mammal? No. So it's not a dolphin, because dolphins are known to be mammals. So <laughs> Here comes your next clue, guys. On the Clue Express, driven by one of our wild style friends. Take a look at it. Can we eat it? Kareem, sure. Go for it. You can take it off. Kareem, yes or no questions? Um, <laughs> did you make <laughs> Did you make something? Uh, no. Shane, think about your clues, you guys. It's a good pie. Um, does it involve <laughs> thing? One second. Boy, they were really into this clue. That's how me the end of round number two. Mitch is on a roll. He stumped them through two rounds. You're taking home your second prize. And I know he wants to know what it is. So, Jay, what is it? From Zenith, a see-through TV. This Zenith television has a clear cabinet you can see right through. And an earphone jack for private listening. Don't just watch TV. Get into it with Zenith. All right, you guys. Don't fill up too much. Right over here is what you figured out after two rounds. And it hasn't really changed much, you know, since the first round. Blank, hypnotized, blank, blank, blank. Do I even want to go over there? Yeah? Over here on the clue recap board, not a turtle. Wake up, Kareem! <laughs> okay, and uh, it's not a pie, Shane. It's a cake, actually. Get your desserts Thanks, straight. Maybe. All right, Hacksaw, last round. One minute on the clock, ready, go. <laughs> Mitch, do you hypnotize this creature? <laughs>
question was knowing what a suplex is. Knowing what a suplex is. So do you guys know Mark Cream Shane? You know what a suplex is? You betcha. No. no. Shane no. does. Shane knows. I no, don't. Just you know? <laughs> Home a prize. Jay, what's his prize? To figure it out, wild out fisherman hands, wear it, wash your dog, or walk your elephant. Alright, it was such a cool slime. I know everybody wants to check it out again. Two of them got slime. Let's see it again on replay, courtesy of Slime Can. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, full facial slime. Hacksaw, what is a suplex? It's hard to explain, I'd have to show you. Oh no! Oh no! All right. I take it back. I take it back. 58 seconds left on the clock. Round number three. Hacksaw, we're starting with you. Ready? Go. Does this animal hypnotize you? No. Mark. So you don't hypnotize a cake? Mark Green. You hypnotize a magical sea amino. <laughs> Here Try. comes the straight brigade. Oh, Help push, them out, you guys. Push. Push out. All right, push Work out. Um, oh, I'll crash out of water. Lobster. Lobster. Blank, hypnotized lobster, blank, blank. Shane, yes or no question? Think about Now, you plans. hypnotized the lobster, right? Yes. Do you like it? <laughs> yeah. Does it involve your hands? Yeah. Are you the champion of this? No. Okay. Hacksaw. Does it have anything to do with a lobster's tail? Yes. Does it have anything to do with eating a lobster tail? <laughs> no. Mark, do you own? Clue, you guys. Do you own any? Uh, own it? Like do own, own it? a lobster? Um, that, no. No. Yeah. Right. No more conversation, you guys. Time for final guesses. Blank hypnotized lobster. Blank, blank. It's going to be a tough one. Hacksaw. Final guess. He hypnotizes lobsters to attack crabs. No. Good guess. Though. All Mark. right. So, do you have a hypnotized lobster feeding monster? <laughs> no, Kareem. I think I got this one. Eight hypnotized lobsters so they wouldn't scream. Nay. <laughs> Shane, think about your clue. You're the last guy, the pressure's on. I don't know what the pie means, but you took hypnotized lobster to lunch. No! That means Mitch is taking home the grand prize come to Reeves All right, you guys. This is going to kill you that you didn't get this. Tell them what you do. Stands hypnotized lobster upside down. Oh, up, upside down. Upside down. Okay. Exactly. Now it's all coming together. You're taking home three cool prizes. Do you want to hear them again? Yeah. I thought you'd say that. Jay, what's he taking home? Our friend Mitch is taking on $100 worth of Black Birthday gift cards to see through TV and a trip to the Edgewater Beach Resort in Florida. All right, Mitch, come on out here. We have a lobster for you. Now, how exactly do you do this? You have to explain to me because I've never seen a lobster hypnotized. Okay, right, well, the first thing you have to do is you rub his tail and it kind of just, like, makes him calm down. What are those that you're rubbing right there? Um, there's flippers. Oh. So they can swim. Can you see him relax? His claws are... Well, how do you know when he's hypnotized? Um, his whole body just kind of goes limp, and... Now put it, can you go upside move. down now? Yep. Let's hear it for Mitch. Woo! We'll see you next time on Figured Out Wild Style. A promotional consideration provided by America Online, with the Kids Only Channel and Nickelodeon. It's the most popular place online for kids. AOL, so easy to use, no wonder it's number one. And by Toy Max, it's your very own radio control robot, Rad 2.0. He picks up objects, rotates 360 degrees, and launches foam missiles. He even transmits your voice. Figure It Out was recorded in front of a live studio audience in Nickelodeon Studios at Universal Studios, Florida.